Uh, can you just explain the move and what you think Brian brings? Well, I, the thing, I, the approach, obviously, that we've taken and our organization has taken that uh, starts with Joe Banner and Mike Lombardi and then uh, through Rob is obviously every chance we've had to evaluate and, and add players that uh, we feel can help us. Uh, you know, we've done it, and I think Brian, I mean, there have been more stories written about Brian Hoyer being a Brown over the last four months than probably any player in the history. And, uh, you know, he was released. He was available. And um, he's a guy that has been in uh, with, with some good teams and backup situations. He's played very little football. Uh, but I, I do think we like his skill set. What, what have you, what is your opinion now of Brandon Whedon after having spent some time with him? Uh, you know, it's, it, you, you, you form an opinion and you keep uh, forming that opinion through an extended period of time. We've actually had three practices where we've been able to go against our defense. Uh, so it's hard for that, the opinion you initially have to change over three practices. But the things I've seen is, is what, I, what we saw in film. I mean, he's, he's got a big arm. He's very intelligent. Uh, he, he makes good decisions. Uh, he throws them all the field the way, way we would like to, but he's very accurate underneath. Uh, he's, he's like all our guys. He's learning a new system. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of work to do, all of us, coaches, players, quarterbacks. Uh, but I think we've made progress over the last seven weeks. Do you, do you think the system fits him better than what you saw on film last year? Here's what I'll tell you. Uh, you say things and they get misinterpreted. I would not interpret. I would not talk about system with any guy. Good players play. They play in any system, and they and they play, uh, you know, when they're comfortable. What happened to Brandon? Brandon was in here with a very young group of guys. So when you have a lot of young guys and they're trying to feel their way uh, together, I think it's hard. And I think all those guys having a year together. Uh, including having Brandon having a year playing uh, will help him a great deal. But, you know, Josh has had a year, uh, Greg Little's had a year, Trent's had a year, uh, you know, some of the other guys have had some exposure. Jordan has gotten a little bit more exposure. Now he's ha in the middle of having a good offseason. So all of those things have to be uh, what help us get better. In terms There's a of long way to go before the final 53 is set, but could you, as the offensive coordinator, conceivably see – Brandon, uh, Brian, and Jason all all here throughout the season? You know, uh, it wasn't that long ago, and for a long time I've been the guy that's made those decisions. I don't have to make that decision anymore. <laughs> I'm going to coach those guys and give my opinion. And, you know, uh, I, I think that you need to go with three quarterbacks. Uh, I think if you don't, uh, you know, you're playing with fire. I, you look at the teams over the last two or three years that have had quarterbacks hurt, and they had a good backup plan. Uh, Matt Houston two years ago made the playoffs with a rookie at quarterback. Uh, Indianapolis, when Manning got hurt, didn't have an answer. Uh, I just think you need to uh, – it's too valuable a position and that you, you need quarterbacks. In terms of coaching points, what do you need Brandon to get better at to make that leap in his second season? Well, it, it's – you know, I, I think this – there's – consistency becomes a big part of it. Uh, and then understanding our offense and then – Playing within himself and playing with our guys, so I can't I can't tell you there's one thing. I mean, there's a there's long stretches and there's a lot of times last year. Uh, I thought he played really well. Uh, you know, most the the thing that gets most young quarterbacks in trouble is negative plays or inconsistent play. Uh, when you uh, see Brian Hoyer coming in here, and then obviously uh, Jason, uh, you know, what do you see as Brian's role coming in? You know, where does he kind of into the plan. Well, like I said, there's, we've had three days of uh, OTAs. Uh, I, I, if, if you ask me to evaluate our quarterback situation right now, I think we have three talented guys. Uh, and we have a, a you know vastly different group of guys. As I said, Brandon is a is a one year player in the NFL uh, who did a lot more good things than people give him credit for. Uh, you know, I, I like uh, his composure and the way he competes. Uh, he's he's worked awfully hard. Uh, you know, he's he's got to be one of the hardest working guys on our team right now. Uh, so you look and you say, hey, you, you hope there's a big upside. Uh, Jason's played nine years in the league. Uh, he's proven he can win in the league. He's proven he can play uh, when he's been with good teams. He's he's played better than when he's been with bad teams, which is 
I'd say with a lot of guys. And then, as I said, with Brian, you got a guy that's been a backup in some good situations. He really hasn't played enough uh, to know where he's at. And we, we like the way he throws the ball, and we like a lot of things about him. So, Norge, you, you just kind of touched on, you know, Whedon and his work, work ethic and that kind of thing. Is he? Do you see him carrying himself like a starter this offseason in terms of work ethic, in terms of leadership, those kind of things? That maybe you wouldn't see out of a rookie, you know. Obviously. Well, I think it's. I think you get what you demand, and that's certainly what I'm going to demand, what we're going to demand, which uh, Coach Tuszynski is going to demand, and he's responded to everything we've asked him to do. And uh, you know, he he, you know, he likes football an awful lot. Uh, you know, he's a very competitive guy, and he's made it clear he wants to be the guy. And now uh, you go out and you do it.